What's up guys, I'm David, and I'm giving you a full review of the JG Tactical AK-47 Assault Rifle. I got this from airsplat.com. It's a good site for beginners and intermediate airsoft players. Um, this gun is one of the better guns they have on that site. Um, this is an intermediate gun, and it's, it works very well for what I paid for it. It's in a reasonable price range, which is around $170. So, pretty good. Pretty good in the financial aspect. Um, it's going to leave a hole in your enemies, but not in your wallet, so keep that in mind. It's a great gun. Here's the barrel, which is metal. Everything from here up is metal. You have the plastic, ABS plastic, might I add. You have these ABS plastic RIS rails. You have four of them because it's tactical. You can mount pretty much anything. Lasers, flashlights, more lasers, four grips, anything you want pretty much. Um, the four grip is a very sturdy ABS plastic. Um, folds out, folds in. I like to use it because it balances your shot. It's a lot easier to pull. Because this is a rather heavy gun due to the large amount of metal parts it has. The upper receiver plate is metal. It comes off to reveal. Oh crap. This metal tube that you can use to house the small stick type battery if you want to convert this from a solid stock gun to a folding stock gun. I wouldn't recommend it. More likely to mess up, jam, stop working, all those fun things. Um, goes back on pretty easily. You have your metal selector switch, full auto, oh, sorry, safe, full auto, semi auto. That is metal. You have this metal trigger guard, metal trigger, right there, plastic hand grip. Very, very good grip. I enjoy holding this gun because it's just so comfortable to hold. Here's your 600 round waffle type magazine. It is quick wind, which means it has a tool that goes in right in that hole. So you twist it and it winds faster. Or you can just do that. Um, here's your rubberized ABS plastic stock. It's very sturdy. It houses the 8.4 volt, 900 milliamp large type battery. You can see right there. Very easy to pack in. It lasts for a decent amount of time. It's nothing that I would dance over, but it works. You can always buy better batteries, but for for two or three or four, maybe even five airsoft battles that last an hour, you could use this. Um, that is pretty much it. Oh yeah, the butt plate is metal and it just slides off like this. Get it back on. The one thing I don't or there's a few things about this gun, very very minor things actually. That I'm not fond of. Oh yeah, the selector switch. This doesn't make any difference in the gun's performance at all. But there's like a little cap that goes on here. If you can see right now, it's just a screw. Because there used to be a cap that went on it. But within my first three airsoft wars, it um, it became it it became loose. And it would skip down to semi every time I would shoot. So all you have to do is take that thing off and tighten this up. I didn't even put it back on because it's just it's pretty useless. Um, oh yeah, here is this is part of the gun that I do like. This is your cocking handle. It has no purpose except for to reveal the line base hop up, which works very well in this gun. Makes a cool noise. Feels pretty solid. I like it a lot. Um, 
when they run around. Like I said, very sturdy mag. Here's just the other side of the gun. The metal sling attachment. Um, it's got an extremely high rate of fire, which I enjoy. It's gonna cost a few dollars. Fix my ceiling. So I would practice gun safety. Because I didn't realize there was bullets in there. But either way, very good gun. I would definitely recommend buying it. Uh, I've enjoyed this for almost half a year now. Just a great gun to have. Uh, I'm David, and I'm concluding my review of the JG Tactical AK-47 Edition. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate and comment.